Alright, so this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP Spectre X360 convertible uh, model 13T-AW000. Right, so we're going to remove these rubber feet because they're hiding screws under there. I just use my fingernail at the edge of it and then we try and peel it up. If the adhesive stays in there, then you might need to go in there and peel that up. It looks like it's missing a screw here, so somebody probably opened this already. Um, let's go ahead and peel this one up as well. And actually, there's no screw hidden under on this side, so let's put this one back. Okay, and put this one back. I wonder if somebody changed the rubber feet because I don't think these light grayish ones match the bottom, so it's kind of strange. But uh, anyways, we're going to be using a J1 or JS1 screwdriver to remove the screws on the back. There was supposed to be one there, um, but then we got three more here, so four total. Keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. All right, if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well, even if it's just to say hi or something, because um, that's what the algorithm likes to see. But other than that, let's go ahead and continue getting this thing apart. So this cover is already kind of popping itself up, and that's probably because the battery is bad. So let's see here. You can see it's lifting. Let's see, there's a clip in here somewhere. All right. So, oh, there we go. And here's the little clip. So the clip actually hooks down this way, and here's the battery. Um, for now, we're just going to kind of look at the battery. It looks like RAM and everything is soldered into place. Um, this might have RAM or an SSD in there. Let's see if I can pop that up. And there's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD in there. So if you want to upgrade the RAM, I mean the SSD, you can right there. All right, it's an Intel Optane, which usually I hate because those I see fail all the time. Um, but yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and get this all lined back up and put back into place. So, oops, I'm gonna line up the little edge there and then line up the outer ones. Just like that and click that all into place. All right, so it's super dusty. Um, we're gonna continue this video later, but the battery model number is right there, RR04XL, all right? So, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys once we get the new battery and yeah, it doesn't look like anything else is upgradable There's too much stuff in the way you can see the LCD LVDS connector here Which has uh, some adhesive you peel that up and then you can pull this back if you're gonna mess with this cable Make sure you disconnect the battery connector and then open the laptop and press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds before doing that You got a separate connector here for the uh, headphone audio 3.5 millimeter uh, Jack auxiliary port whatever you want to call it um, and there's another connector here going into the screen uh, most likely for the cameras you got a speaker connector here this kind has like where you got to go underneath and pry it up but be careful because it kind of has like a socket where it's like sitting like this so you got to pry up the one that's in the inside only not the outside same thing with this speaker here right and then you got a keyboard backlight connector this is probably to the keyboard and this is probably to the touchpad trackpad right anyways I need to clean the dust off here everything else seems to be integrated um, <clears throat> CPU is underneath here, obviously. Uh, fan connector looks to be the same as the speaker connectors where you kind of pry it up. And yeah, there's a lot of adhesive holding this stuff down, which is really annoying. So hopefully replacing the battery is not going to have anything annoying like that. Um, it looks like there's four screws and then there and then two screws down here and you can lift it out. So speaker, I mean battery itself looks pretty easy to replace. I'm going to clean this up. I'll be back. Then we're going to just put this back together. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. So we cleaned it up quite a bit. Um, you can see it's a lot better now. A lot of this stuff is kind of stuck on there. Um, but we're going to put it back for now. And then once we get the battery, we'll go ahead and replace that. All right. So again, RR04XL. All right. Let's go ahead and get this back on. Just line everything up. Click it back down. Again, this battery's inflated, so it's not going on completely. Oops, let's get the front ones first. And let's 
pretty much it for now. Alright. These guys are upload a new video in the future where I replace the battery so if you want to see how to pull the battery out if you can't figure it out um, yeah just look for that video it'll be up soon all right that's pretty much it you're welcome to stay as I get all these screws back in other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one all right last screw there we go go thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one let's chop this bye all right so let's go ahead and remove the battery okay we're gonna be using it looks like we might have to use a j0 yes uh j0 or ph0 screwdriver let's go ahead and remove the screws there are four along the top here and then two along the bottom oops what did i just do sorry about that Alright, let's zoom in on the battery here a little bit. Too much. Alright, now let's go ahead and continue removing all these screws. Very simple to replace. Okay. Then we've got the two screws at the bottom. Alright, take note of the battery connector. Black wires are going towards all these cables here. White wires are going towards this side. Let's pop this up. Alright, so the battery has these wings. I use my fingernails to kind of wiggle and pull it. Just like that. Once you get it out enough, we should be able to lift this battery up. Okay. And then pull the whole thing out. There we go. There's the battery. Okay. Put that aside. Here you can see underneath, you have the keyboard backlight, keyboard connector, touchpad, trackpad, and fingerprint reader connector. All right, let's go ahead and put this back on. And this is the new battery. That's pretty much it, very simple. We gotta slide the connector and pull this in first, okay? Make sure the connector goes in straight. And get this all lifted and pushed into place. Oh, the cabling here, it's a little bit long, so we gotta kind of bend the wires a little bit to get it to go. And there we go. Alright, we'll get the two bottom screws in first. And also the battery on this, um, pretty sure it acts as a CMOS, BIOS, RTC, real-time clock battery, whatever you want to call it. So when you turn the computer back on, it's going to take a while because it's basically resetting the BIOS. And yeah, you're going to have to give it some time. So let's get all these screws back in and we'll power it up. All right. And then I already showed how to remove the bottom cover. So that's pretty much it once we show that it's working well. Let's open this up and then we'll press the power button. Where is it? There we go in that corner. All right. I thought I heard the fan spinning, but I guess not. Is it powering on? Are there lights here somewhere? Hmm. There's one light here, but I can't tell. Okay, let's plug this in. You can see nothing is happening right now. So we're going to plug it in. I don't have an HP charger on me. I have a um, Mac one. But let's see. All right. I do see the orange light coming on. Let's go 
push the power button again. You do see the power light is lit up on this corner. There you go. So we'll give it some time. And we should get that BIOS. There you go. So there you go. CMOS has been reset. Basically, press enter to restart. And we should be good. All right. So we'll give it some time. Let it start up. And it's loading. Okay, there you go. HP <clears throat> Windows 11 is loading. And I just want to make sure the battery is showing it's charging. We're going to unplug the charger and then see if it stays on. So the thing is just spinning. I'm getting some calls. So I might have to take that. And I do see it shows the battery is plugged in there. The brightness is down, but there you go. I unplugged the charger and it's still on. So we should be good to go. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. All right, I just realized I didn't show how to take off this cover without the bulging battery thing. So now that the battery isn't bulging, everything snapped in, all the screws removed, um, you're basically gonna wanna use a suction cup. You can probably um, get away with going from the side like this. Um, and then I can get my fingernails in and push, um, but you wanna make sure to push on the palm rest area. Okay, so if you push on that, and you can see I can pop that out. All right, once you get like one side going, then you'll probably have some luck like sliding a tool in there um, and going around. You can see it popped out relatively easy. Um, and then again, there is that one clip that's here that's kind of hooked in. So if you can um, get out the back side, it would be easier because you can kind of slide it um, up that way. Okay, you can slide it this way and there you go. See, see that hook there? Okay, so basically once you slide it this way, you can pull the middle up. And that's pretty much it. Um, when you're snapping it back in, you just go around and make sure to take a look. You can see like the edge there. You want to make sure that gets tucked and hidden inside. Okay. There we go. All right. Just like that. Make sure the edges are all in. All right. And there we go. And now let's go ahead and put the screws back in and then we should be good to go. Um, I mean, you erase all this stuff. So no need to really watch this part, but um, yeah, all right. Um, again, one screw is missing here, but basically PH1 uh, or JIS1 screwdriver, um, you can get all these screws and then T5 or Torx5 at the bottom to get those in. And again, that's pretty much it. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Uh, if you can't help out that way, again, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well, because that's what the algorithm likes to see. But uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's get this stuff back in. And there we go. All right, let's drop this bite.